We're trying to improve the energy density and power density of lithium-ion batteries such that they can be used in electric vehicles. And in particular, there's two different types of electric vehicles uh, the uh, American automakers are targeting. Plug-in electric vehicles and then uh, plug-in hy or hybrid electric vehicles. And there's also stationary power, uh, which, is, which would facilitate smart grid technology development. So if you make uh, electricity through wind or solar technology, you've got to store that energy somewhere. The closer it is to the energy conversion technology, the better. So in these efforts, we're trying to develop um, a new technology th that facilitates um, improving what's called energy density. That's the metric we use to, set to, to characterize one battery technology to the next. And power density. So energy refers to how much energy I can store per unit volume or unit mass. Power density refers to how quickly I can discharge it. So if I go down to Home Depot, for example, and I buy a cordless, cordless drill, I don't really care if I can discharge it slowly over five hours. I want to be able to discharge it, have a lot of power, turn those screws in the walls um, over just a few minutes. So that's what I refer, refer to as power density. Or that's the relationship between power density and energy density. So for electric vehicles, again, you need both. And the other constraint with electric vehicles is cost and stationary power, too. And then a, another big one that's coming up is safety. So I'd say if I had to, if I had to target four performance parameters for batteries, power density, energy density, cost, and safety. So those are the four things we're, we're working on. Well, we think that no single solution is going to be able to address all of the problems. So we are looking at multiple technologies. We are looking at biofuels, we are looking at wind energy, we are looking at battery storage technologies like batteries and so forth. Uh, we are also looking at thermoelectrics. So we're working on multiple fronts at the moment. There's a step relatively big step that has to go, especially when you're talking about these new materials. It's one thing to make a new material, but it's another thing to make it useful. So that's the translational part or aspect of it that I'm involved in. And that involves um, uh, electrode architectures. So improving, we're talking about lithium-ion batteries, talking about electricity. So those are the two forms of charge that move in a, uh, in a battery. Lithium ions, they have a plus charge, and electrons, they have a negative charge. So that's what we're trying to, that's what I'm trying to improve with novel uh, electrode designs.